Now to a developing story. Oklahoma launching a new effort to stop sex trafficking in the state. It's a problem impacting thousands, according to the state. Good day, Oklahoma's Jamison Keefover joins us now live. Jamison, the Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics just held a meeting. What did they talk about? Yeah, Shelby, we heard from Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics as well as Governor Kevin Stitt and several partners across Oklahoma who are not only trying to stop drugs in Oklahoma, but also trying to stop human trafficking. They say that there are so many partnerships that they need to help stop this problem. And this is where it all starts. This QR code that people will start seeing all across the state. You are not alone. Now, one of those partners that they said is vital to their mission is with me now. This is the executive director of the spring, Leslie Klingenpeel. So yeah. Leslie, tell me uh, how it feels to have so many people part of this mission along with you. Yeah, I'm so encouraged by the work that's happening in our partnership with Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics. Um, there are a lot of misconceptions in our state of what human trafficking looks like, and so it often goes unidentified and unnoticed. And so I am highly encouraged by everybody who's stepping up to the plate to say, we're going to make sure Oklahomans everywhere in every corner of the state knows what human trafficking looks like and they know what to do if they see it, if they're experiencing it, or if they need to report it. So if someone wants to get involved, help survivors, help victims, how do they do that? Yeah, so this campaign is part of that. As you said, the QR code, they can, they'll can they start seeing and they can scan, but they can also visit the Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics website and get more inf information about the campaign. But you can also reach out to local service providers like us, The Spring, our partners here in Oklahoma City, um, the Dragonfly Home, but also DVIS in Tulsa. Perfect. Thank you so much for your time, yeah, Leslie. You. So this is something that they say is going to help thousands of Oklahomans and shed a light on this issue, not only here, but worldwide. Reporting live for Good Day Oklahoma, I'm Jameson Keefover.